After having started our class of 67 50th reunion on the campus of Woodstock School, we headed out in two different directions. Some went to Madhya Pradesh to visit the Ellora and Ajanta Caves and spend a few nights at the Ahelia Fort on the banks of the Narbada River. Others went hiking high in the mountains for an amazing and spectacular visit to Harkidun. Once everyone was back in Delhi, excitement mounted for our trip to Darjeeling. We were blessed with an invitation from classmate Sudhir Prakash to be guests for three nights in his family's tea estate resort. Darjeeling had been shut down for months during a nationwide strike. Fortunately for us, the strike ended just two days before our scheduled trip. And so it was an even extra joy to arrive at the Glenburn Tea Estate. Started in 1859 by a Scottish tea company, Glenburn passed into the hands of the Prakashas, one of India's pioneering tea planting families. It is located above the banks of the Ranjit River, high in the Darjeeling Himalayas. The estate looks out on the Kachanjunga mountain range. Standing 28,169 feet high, only two other mountains in the world boast a taller peak. There was just no better way to spend the last few days of our 50th reunion than with our classmate Sudhir in his Himalayan paradise. The first night we all gathered around the large dining room table for a delicious dinner and of course stories of old. After the long day's trip Sally and I were only too happy to retire to our beautiful suite. We loved the beautiful crafted bedroom furniture. There was a living area bay where our morning tea tray was delivered at a prearranged time each morning. After a Sunday morning breakfast, some of us walked down to the small plantation church. It was a joy worshiping with some of the tea pickers and estate staff. They were pleased that Sudhir greeted them and told them a little bit about who we were. A visit to the tea factory gave us a greater appreciation for the tea we routinely place in our teapots or dangle from a string in our teacups. The whole process was explained by Sudhir and his staff. And of course, at the end, there was the opportunity to taste some of the current selections. Ever since, we have kept a supply of Glenburn tea in our home. On our way to the city of Darjeeling, we stopped to visit with and enjoy the students in the primary school located on the tea estate. Then it was on up to the city on top. As a train enthusiast, and I think most of us having grown up in India are, I had for months been looking forward to videoing the world famous toy train that incredibly still runs on steam power. Unfortunately, the strike had not been over long enough to get the train going again. We visit the Himalayan Mountaineering Institute. The director of field training and a close family friend of Marlin gave us a tour. Founded in 1954, it encouraged mountaineering as an organized sport in India. Ten Singh, along with Hillary, were the first to climb Everest. Mark and I purchased our ice axes from castoffs from the Ten Singh Mountaineering School in Derdun. I like to think of mine as having been a retired ice axe from one of the Everest expeditions. After a lovely lunch and some time spent shopping, we headed back to Glenburn. Surrounded by such beauty, it was a perfect place to just relax and visit and read and take pictures. Show me. What, 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 what
you picked? On our last day, we had the opportunity to visit with some of the tea pickers and learn a little bit about how to pick tea. Margot, good sport as she is, modeled one of the tea pickers' baskets for us. That last evening, we enjoyed the retreat down by the river. Oak leaf butterflies were rather rare around Landar, though I did have one in my collection. It was cool seeing another. Our picnic in the retreat really hit the spot, and afterwards our jeeps met the challenge of the steep, wet, and sometimes muddy road as we headed back to what was starting to feel like home. That evening we were entertained joyfully by some of the tea pickers' children. As we enjoyed breakfast that last morning, we knew our time together was coming to an end. Thanks, Sudhir, for such an amazing end to our 50th anniversary. Was it really 50 years?